Cadiz, officially the city of Cadiz, Hiligaynon, Dakbanwa, Sayadad Sang Cadiz, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Cadiz, Filipino, Lungsod ng Cadiz, is a second-class city in the province of Negros Occidental, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 154,723 people. This component city, 65 kilometers 40 miles north of Bacolod City is a gateway and a premier center of agro-fishery resources in Negros Island. The strategic location of the city, with a wide and rich island and marine resources and vast fertile agricultural land, and the completion of the commercial port and the construction of a fish port, will open a new opportunity for economic growth and competitiveness. The city is a major sugarcane producing area. This is transported to Victoria's city for further refining. Another major source of livelihood is the harvest of seafood. The Dinagsa Festival, a celebration which earned Cadiz the name of the Dinagsa Country of the North, is held annually on the last week of January. Some three kilometers off the coast of Barangay Cadiz Viejo is a white sand island resort of Lakawan, a popular destination among the local population. The current city mayor is Dr. Patrick G. Escalante Jr., with Dr. Lilia D. Colangan as the current city vice mayor. Prominent former citizens include Cheryl Amiscua and Hyland Maiko. The city was heavily damaged by Typhoon Haiyan, but has had success with restoration efforts to a stage where conditions are comparable to its pre-calamity status. Barangays Cadiz City is politically subdivided into 22 barangays. Pob means Poblacion. History Also known as the City of Wales, due to the fact that a number of whales washed to its shores in several different historical events. Cadiz traces its beginnings to the establishment of a traditional settlement in a place known as Cadiz Viejo, near the banks of the Hightalan River. Historical records showed that in 1861, the Spaniards came and named the settlement Cadiz because of its northern location which reminded them of the seaport by the same name in Spain. Cadiz became a municipality independent from Saravia now E.B. Magalona, in 1878. Its first appointed gobernadorcillo was Antonio Cabahug, married to Capitana Francisca Cito. The outbreak of the Spanish-American War saw Cadiz take part in the insurrection. Her sons and daughters, headed by Francisco Abelard, took up arms against their Spanish masters. During the short-lived government of the cantonal state of the Federal Republica de Negros, José López Vito was elected its president. At the onset of American rule, Cadiz was on its way to prosperity with the operation of two lumber companies in the area. The war years stopped these economic activities and brought much suffering to the people of Cadiz. The resistance movement and the local forces of the Philippine Commonwealth Army units put up the civil government in the mountains to deal with civilian affairs. In the post-war election of 1952, Joaquin Ledesma was elected mayor. In July 1967, Cadiz was inaugurated as a city by virtue of Republic Act No. 4894 which was passed by Congress on June 17, 1967. The act was authored by Congressman Armando Gastillo. Geography Cadiz City is located at the northern part of Negros Occidental, 65 kilometers away from the provincial capital of Bacolod City. The city is bounded to the north by the Visayan Sea, to the south by Silay City and Victoria City, to the east by Sagay City and to the west by the municipality of Manapla. It is located within the geographical coordinates of 10 degrees and 50 minutes. Latitude Ne and 125 degrees and 9 minutes Longitude E. The total land area by land use is 52,457 hectares. An area of 7,354. 59 hectares is classified as urban land, which includes residential, commercial, industrial and institutional. 45,102.45 hectares are rural. The city has reclaimed an area of 38 hectares, 500 meters southeast of City Hall. This area is found alongside of Hightalan River and is ideal for industrial activities. Economy 
The total annual income of the city for the year under review is P. 429,389,619. It is derived from the actual collections of local revenues and internal revenue allotment IRA. The city has a total number of 4,965 business establishments, in which 4,750 of which are classified as commercial and 215 as industrial. It has 11 pawnshops, 16 lending corporation and 5 banking institutions which provide financial capital to businessmen. The principal sources of livelihood are agriculture and fishing, with employment and business as a secondary source of income. Cadiz has a total agricultural area of 36,475.7429 hectares. Sugarcane remains as the prime agricultural commodity with as large as 23,571.1445 hectares or 64.5242% of the total agricultural area. Fish supply is more than what the city currently needs. Being rich in natural resources and considered as one of the few fishing centers of Negros Occidental, Cadiz, rich in marine resources, is envisioned to be the seafood center of Negros and an alternative tourist destination. In barangays Daga and Tiglavigan, for instance, dried fish processing and boat building are the major economic activities. A P37 million multipurpose seaport, still under construction, is envisioned to encourage both fishing and commercial vessels to dock in and use the area for trade and industry. This nationally funded seaport would create more jobs in the city. So far, four companies, San Miguel Corp., Pepsi Cola, Coca Cola, and Jazz Cola, have established their distribution centers within the city. Also located in the city is the Cadiz Solar Power Plant. Education Elementary High School College Cadiz has 76 educational institutions that offer elementary, secondary and tertiary education. 67 are public schools, 8 are private, and 1 is a state-owned university. Out of the 67 public schools, 51 offer elementary education and 16 offer secondary education. Out of 8 private schools, 4 offer elementary education, 1 offers secondary and elementary, 1 offers solely secondary, 1 offers business education and vocational courses, and 1 offers a computer technology course. The state-owned university offers elementary, secondary and tertiary BS in elementary education, BS in secondary education and master's degree in education courses. There are also nine private preparatory schools, Cadiz Evangelical Church Kindergarten School, Northern Negroes Private School, Alpha Omega Christian School, Seventh-day Adventist Elementary School, PNU Early Childhood Education, Kitty's Joy Kinder School, Solid Ground Christian Academy, Cadiz Christian Learning Center and Creativity School. The five public preparatory schools are the Cadiz East Elementary Schools 1 and 2, Cadiz West 2 Elementary School, Villasan Elementary School, and Caduan Elementary School. Health and Nutrition The government health facilities of the city consist of a district hospital with 50 beds, an emergency clinic with 5 beds and 2 extension beds, a city health clinic, 22 barangay health centers, and 43 school clinics. There are five private medical clinics, three private family planning clinics, two private optical clinics and three private clinical laboratories. The government's X-ray clinic and dental clinic further support the health facilities of the city. There are seven drug stores, two of which are open 24 hours a day. Protective services as of 2007, the city has 54 policemen serving its 150,750 citizens. The existing policeman population ratio is 1 to 2,792 above the standard ratio of 1 to 1,000. This necessitates that the city police force employs 97 more policemen. The Philippine National Police has one headquarter located at the Villa Cristina subdivision and six community police unit precincts located at Barangay Daga, Barangay Bankaroan, the Public Market, Fara on Institute, Lakawan Island and Barangay Tiglavigan. 
There are three patrol vehicles and three motorcycles being utilized by the police force. Considering that the police force ratio to the populace is not sufficient, the Civilian Volunteers Organization, CVO, was created to augment the policemen. Today, there are 40 members of CVO serving alongside the policemen of the city. The city has 62 traffic enforcers helping policemen direct and control the traffic flow. The city planned to hire additional traffic enforcers by 2008. There are three PA detachments operating in the rural barangays with the main patrol base located at HAD. Buenretiro, Barangay Burgos, IPA Special Detachment at HAD. Viormain, Barangay Magsaysay and IPA Detachment at HAD. Ladnon in Barangay Caduan. As of 2007, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology has eight personnel and 126 inmates. It is located in Barangay Tinampan. The Bureau of Fire Protection, as of 2007, has two serviceable fire trucks and 24 firemen and personnel. Of these, 11 are nationally funded, including the inspector. The other 13 are locally funded. The ratio is 1 to 6,226. This is higher than the standard one fireman per 2,000 population. Inferring from this, the city needs 50 more firemen and personnel. The development of the BUSAC BUSAC Spring, the city has 23 serviceable fire hydrants located at different strategic locations. Transportation and communication The existence of communication facilities in any area plays a vital role in economic development. These facilities lessen the cost of transportation and likewise shorten the time in transacting business. Cadiz City has a Bureau of Telecommunications and a post office located at the City Engineers Compound. There is also an air cargo service in the city. Two private companies, the JRS and LBC, also deliver mail. Unlike the post office, home mail delivery of these private companies reaches the rural areas. The Cadiz City Post Office has only two mail carriers and seven office personnel, including the postmaster. The recommended ratio between letter carriers and the population is 1 to 5,000. With the projected population of 161,393 in 2005, the current ratio between letter carriers and population is placed at 1 to 80,696. The city needs to hire 30 additional personnel to meet the requirement of 32 letter carriers. The population is estimated to be 165,589 in 2006, hence, an additional of 31 letter carriers will be needed to meet the new requirement of 33 letter carriers. Two telephone companies operate in the city, the Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company located along Valena Street with a capacity of 1,500 lines and the Globe Fiber Optic Backbone Network Support Facility located along Cabahug Street. Cellular sites of Smart, Globe and Sun are also found in the city to cater for the wireless telephone system. The city has also five internet cafes. Cadiz has one satellite cable station located at San Eusebio Subdivision, Barangay Zone 2. It caters to six urban barangays, including parts of Barangay Daga and offers 45 channels to choose from. By using ordinary antennas, three television channels 12, 6 and 4 are viewed and received. The city has one FM radio station located at Villa Barbas, Barangay Zone 2, with a broadcast power of 104.5 kHz. Cadiz also receives broadcasts from stations in Bacolod, Manila, Cebu, Iloilo and other nearby provinces or towns and cities. The broadcasts are either in English, Hiligaynon, Cebuano and Filipino. National newspapers available in the city include the Malaya Daily Express, Bulletin Today, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Time Journal, Tempo, The Philippine Star, and Bandera. Local dailies include Negro's Daily Bulletin, Sunstar and the Visayan Daily Star. The city government of Cadiz also has the quarterly Cadiz Bulletin and the monthly Bulletin. Demographics Language Hiligaynon is the major language of the city, with differences in tone and accent from the Hiligaynon used in Metro Bacolod. It is also mixed with a few Cebuano and Spanish words. 
Filipino and English are widely taught but seldom used, however, both are frequently used in the academe and businesses. Local government Elected city officials 2013 to 2016 List of former municipal captains, municipal presidents, town and city mayors Super Typhoon Haiyan In November 2013, the city was heavily damaged by the typhoon. Around 20,000 homes were damaged. In the island of Lakawan, from 250 homes, 10 was left standing. No casualties were reported in and around the city. Transportation Cadiz City is a one-hour drive from Bacolod City, the capital of Negros Occidental, by private car and an hour and 15 minutes ride by a passenger bus. The Valacar Transit, Series, the largest bus company, has a terminal here. Buses plying to San Carlos, Dumaguete City, and the nearby municipalities make short stopovers here. Other services of transportations available are Pudge and Van for hire vehicles. Cadiz City is also accessible to Cebu via the cities of San Carlos and Escalante. Passenger buses for Cebu also pass by at the bus terminal on scheduled trips. By sea There used to be two ferry boats of private company transporting cargoes and passengers to and from Bantayan Island. Gallery References External links Official Cadiz City Tourism and Business Portal Cadiz City's official website Official Cadiz City News and Info site Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System http colon slash slash star.com slash 2013 slash November slash 12 slash top story 4.htm http colon slash slash www.panaynewsphilippines.com slash negros slash 9750 super dash typhoon dash downs dash negoke dash extent dash of dash damage dash yet dash to dash be dash known html